Welcome to AlgebraMath.net. My name is Wayne Stramat. Today we're going to look at Chapter 1, Mathematics as a Living Experience, and specifically Section 1.3, Adding and Subtracting Integers. This presentation, along with the material needed to complete this section in your study of algebra, can be found at AlgebraMath.net. In this section, we're going to discover what absolute value is, how to add two or more integers, finding the difference of two integers. Now let's go through absolute value. Absolute value refers to the distance between zero and another point on a number line. If P is a point on a number line, its distance from zero is denoted by the absolute value of P. The two vertical bars are called absolute value bars. They are grouping symbols, and like other such symbols, they always come in pairs. Here we have an example of a house and a library. You'll notice that the, the distance is denoted by the absolute value of P. The distance between any two points is always a positive number or zero. Example, if you stay at home, you don't travel anywhere, and thus you move zero feet. The distance from zero to zero is zero, so we write the absolute value of zero is zero. If you go to library and then return, you cover the same distance, assuming you take the same path, of course. This distance is also represented by the absolute value of p, which is equal to p. Adding integers. Adding positive integers amounts to the same process you use to, count, to add counting numbers. So, for example, plus 4 added to a plus 5 gives you a plus 9. In the example that you see there, we wrote it across horizontally, or you can look at it vertically. Either way, you're going to come up with the same answer. In this section, we're going to go through several examples using the number line to help you understand the ideas. Here's one example that comes directly from the book. Here we added 5 and 3. Notice the distance starts off at 0, goes over 5 units, so its value is the absolute value of 5. Next, we add an arrow showing 3. Its distance is the absolute value of 3. So what's the sum? Well, 5 plus 3 is 8. Here's another example that came directly from the book, <coughs> Excuse me, uh, where we're going to add as positive and negative integers. You can specifically purchase this section and look at all the examples, and there's many examples showing you how to do things. The difference of two integers. In arithmetic, we learned that the difference of two numbers was only possible if we were subtracting a smaller number from a larger number. Thus, 12 minus 9 was an acceptable problem. We could not do a problem like 9 minus 12 because the answer was a negative number. Now, however, we can find such differences. Learn by downloading this section of the chapter. This marks the end of Section 3. This presentation, along with the material needed to complete this section in your study of algebra, can be found at algebramath.net. Order your copy now. Thank you for watching. My name is Wayne Stranat, author of Introductory Algebra.